guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be uh, doing bits and bobs in the RX-7. So uh, we take it out for a wee drive. Uh, I need to do some calibration of wheel speed sensors and stuff like that because I think I fixed the rear wheel speed sensor issue. So yeah, uh, let's get into it. We'll open up the garage door. We'll have to move the doodle bug and uh, we'll set up this, we'll get the laptop, we'll go over some of the map and uh, we'll see if we can get throttle blip to work and shift cut as well um, just to make sure everything's you know in line and also for you guys I changed my flappy paddles back to the you know positive is up shift because <laughs> yeah it annoyed me as well but it was a late night yeah let's get into this we'll get the, the keys for the doodle bug We'll go and uh, move it out of the way so we can work on the RX-7. Oh no! There she is! Oh darling, McDonald's! Oh aye! The missus has been driving this car recently so She's obviously went for a wee cheeky McDonald's. Right, so I'm just going into the, what do you call it, settings here and seeing what exactly I'm needing to do uh, for my wheel speed stuff. So, um, just setting up my wheel sensor. So I've got a rear left. Uh, I've got that 38 tooth because I'm using a 350Z diff um, and it has 38 teeth on the rings and the front Mazda one is 44 teeth so um, yeah it doesn't even need to be the same amount of teeth between the front and back and uh, the max ECU is fine with that. Um, so speed source here I'm using CAN bus which is just um, the TCU will send the speed to the ECU and I'm just going to DCT settings just now just to soften up some of the um, takeoff because I was finding um, it's fine but I just get to the stage now where I can start refining it so you know uh, when I select gear it won't move put the foot in the throttle and it'll start pulling away so I'm just trying to smooth that out basically nothing nothing too wild um, and obviously this is a torque correction for launch and stuff like that as well which I've not actually got to yet because I've not launched it because I've made the prop and the drive shaft so <laughs> to be fair I probably need to get that sorted first before we do any launches and um, so yeah Another thing here as well, if you can see the new power tune dash, that's the latest update. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking a log on the laptop and I'll take a log with CAN bus on the digi dash and I'll send that off to Marcus. Uh, Marcus Ippe, one of the creators of Powertune and uh, they basically compared the log, the data log, to what is actually seen on the screen. So. Um, that way we know all the values are bang on um, because they got the can addresses which is fine but you need to kind of still make sure that they're uh, accurate and obviously make sure things are not gauge versus absolute pressure stuff like that um, so no problem well anyway um, I think we should be good to go to try this out and uh, see see what I like Cold start, water temperature 11 degrees, oh it's cold outside, cold outside the day so yeah I need to do oil temp and oil pressure, get that to work um, and uh, speed and gear is another thing and um, these are what we need to sort out because uh, just now the digi dash is taking its gear selection from um, something other than the gearbox selection so we'll get there. So uh, let's go up to my testing area where I normally dial in the car and uh, yeah we'll see how it behaves. Cuts maybe a bit too 
Right guys, uh, getting somewhere. Um, I've got the car shifting fine as it should, up and down the gears uh, in different uh, modes as well. So uh, I've also got the drive logic button working too. Um, so uh, drive logic mode just now in zero. So if we go across here, it's in three, and then I can put it all the way up to six, and that's for like aggressive sort of shifts and stuff like that. So. Uh, I'll get the camera set up and do a couple of pulls for you. So just now we're running wastegate pressure. Uh, wastegate pressure is 0 0.3, 0 0.4 bar, so it's not super fast, but at least I can uh, dial in the tune a little bit more, and then I can start up in the boost uh, when I start dialing in. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. So pulling away nicely, give it a little bit of throttle, pulls away like a normal car.
Right guys, as you would have seen, <laughs> this thing is nuts uh, and uh, had it revved up to room with 8 and about 1000 RPM and the shifts are just ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go over the tune. Um, I made some changes to some of these areas here, so I'll probably have to go and smooth it out because if you look here, the 3D map is still a wee bit all over the shop, but um, that's no issues. Uh, I've still got to fine tune a little bit when it comes to the downshift because um, below 3,000 RPM. Fine, you click down the buttons, it'll auto blip and it'll catch. It always does catch. However. Further up in the rev range, we're talking like six, seven thousand RPM changing down. It blips, however, it doesn't blip enough, I don't think. So um basically all I have to do there is increase the the duty of the electronic throttle so it opens more and have a larger hold time, which basically lets it rev up there a little bit longer. So generally when you're changing down, it's okay to have a second maybe to you know, um, rev up, have it revving up a second, and um, because you're not on power at that point, you're generally slowing down, um, so not a problem. So just now, I've got the shift set up. Uh, we're at 50 milliseconds um, for shift, which is like I think a human foot to like take its foot off the resting position and put it to the clutch is like some like 90. So by that time, this car's already changed gear. So that's that's that's. Proper impressive, I'm really happy with that. Um, so yeah, I just need to get these logs. I'll go and look over the logs and see uh, how everything looks. I'm gonna send off the can file, the can dump to Marcus um, from the Ras uh, Ras I was gonna say Raspberry Pi, <laughs> Raspexy. That was uh, back in the old days, the Raspexy. <laughs> And the power tune digital dash. So I'm going to send off the can log to him, and uh, then we can send him my log, and we could just work from there and make sure everything's uh, reading accurate. So yeah, um, I'm I'm absolutely buzzing with it. One thing I am a bit not disheartened with is the temps. It gets hot, like it does get hot, and uh, I'm 100% sure it's that small radiator I've put on it. Um, However, the last radiator had was so big, it was a three pass, it struggled to get the thing up to temperature, which does play havoc with your fueling. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to go for a bigger radiator, I'm pretty sure. Just, um, I, is a, I am predominantly going to be doing drag racing and stuff like that just now. Um, because I'm finding it fun and stuff on the street as well. However, I will be taking it on like a circuit track as well. Knock Hill, etc. And I do like to have really good cooling, so... Um, I will be putting a bigger radiator on for sure. So yeah, this is the stage we're at guys. And uh, I can't thank you guys enough for sharing the stuff and liking and commenting. It all helps the channel out and uh, I like to put it out there that, you know, um, this kind of car is just DIY. It's uh, myself that's building it. And, uh, you know, with help and advice from others as well, it's... Uh, and I'm not a mechanic. I'm not like I'm nothing special. I'm just like a normal guy, like everyone else. And uh, I don't have a big budget or anything like that. I know a lot of people think I'm a rich boy. Well, saying that, well, I've got the range in the drives. A bit hypocritical, but to be fair, this car only cost me two hundred pounds, and the gearbox was six hundred pounds. You know, the engine I ended up getting for free because I broke the car for spares. So it is a really low cost budget race car for for me, and, and I love this car, and I'll never sell it. So. Um, It'll only just modify and improve it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to look over these logs and uh, next video we should be getting uh, some proper uh, proper boost action. Look at that, 8,500 RPM. That's what I touched today. Um, and it feels amazing. Like, it really does feel amazing. Sorry guys for blabbing on. I'm just really happy. Uh, anyway, you guys stay classy, stay safe and uh, we'll catch you in the next vid. Cheers.